Home to over 12 million people, Gauteng is the most populous province in South Africa. It encompasses the busy cities of Johannesburg and Pretoria, the Rainbow Nation's capital. The region generates a third of the country's GDP, but the wealth divide here is stark and crime remains a pressing issue. In the northern suburbs of Gauteng is the Yonibak Sports Centrum, a non-profit organization that offers a place for disadvantaged children in the area to learn and socialize. Set up by South African entrepreneur Johan Boitendaar, the center caters for around a thousand children each year. It provides food, education and sporting opportunities. The center's pastoral therapist and sport coordinator is Herit Schneemann. Some of these kids stay in homes where there's no running water, there's no electricity. These kids come out of a very aggressive kind of background, socially. Um, morally, there's a lot of you know, moral stuff in homes, parents uh, divorced. There's a lot of things happening in their homes. And it's, it's a place for them to escape a bit. The social environment that is created, it, it's, a, it's a place that they enjoy, they enjoy to be here. And sometimes, like I say, some of these kids, because of the, the different environment that, that is in their houses, in their homes, they don't want to go home, they want to be here. And, and we really do believe we make a difference in these kids' lives. Badminton is one of the main sports practiced here. Although the badminton program is largely recreational, the centre has produced a number of nationally ranked players in recent years. Besides providing a good workout, the staff believe that the sport also teaches the children social skills and important life lessons. They're fully aware of the value in sport as an alternative to a life rooted in crime. We see what sport does for the kids and how sport is part not only the physical development but the emotional and the, um, social development. You know, most of these kids come out of very bad situations, you know, in their houses, in their, in their areas. And, and what we experience from them is through sport, they also their they behavior change. It, it helps them to believe that they can be something different, they can be better. And I think that's the main thing. So yeah, maybe we saved a gangster or something, I don't know. But at least we know we make a difference in their lives. One of the most highly rated junior badminton players to have come through the centre is 14-year-old Jabulili Ganinda. In 2013, she clinched a bronze medal at the Under-15 African Championships in Uganda, despite being two years younger than the rest of the field. And last year in Egypt, she did even better and became the Under-15 Continental Girls Champion. Jabu is one of the few people from her township to have ventured overseas. Boarding a plane for the first time was a nerve-wracking experience. I thought I was going to faint, die, or come in a crash. When, like, when the plane stops, what am I going to do? Scream, run. Kind of scared, crying first. But then it was fun climbing a plane for the first time when I was young. The youngest girl in the team, yeah. It was kind of fun. Jabu comes from a poor community in North Pretoria and is the oldest of three children. The hardship that she's had to face in her life has given her a fierce determination to forge a successful career in badminton. She's expected to be included in South Africa's squad for the Junior World Championships, which will be held in Peru in November. No mean feat for someone who's only been playing the sport for four years. Badminton is kind of like the best sport in history. First of all, I was freaking out and nervous. And then like, st I started noticing and I started practicing more harder. So then when I went, when I, when I go, when I go in the court, I know what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm, I am really know why I blame myself. But I just get that feeling in my heart that I can win it. And I just say it, just I can, I can win it. <laughs> 
Besides playing at the Yonibak Sports Centre, Jabo also attends regular badminton sessions with North Houteng coach Christina Calbera and many of the country's best junior players. The South African Badminton Association has begun to invest more money at the grassroots level, sending their juniors to international competitions and training camps so that they can get exposure to a higher standard of badminton. 16-year-old Vroon Schneemann, Gerrit's son, went on a five-week training camp in Denmark before going on to compete at the Junior World Championships in Malaysia last year. It's quite amazing because um, we don't, like in South Africa, we don't get to see like that level of badminton every day because we're not quite on that level, but it's yes, it's like out of this world, it's, like, it's really, really good. You go to course, the guys are much better than you, so it helps you to lift your game. So I think it helps, like it improves you a lot. You get a lot better than what you were. Badminton is still a minority sport in South Africa. However, it's hoped that with more competitions and investment at the youth level, the country will soon be able to break the monopoly that the Asian and European nations have traditionally held on the sport. At the forefront of that movement could be Jabalili Ganinda. Her coach believes that she has the potential to be a star of the badminton world, if she's willing to work hard. I would say her strength, she's very naturally uh, talented. She's quite lazy though. She needs to work on her movement on the court and be willing to, to run more. She wants to finish the shuttle off all the time and just get the rallies over as fast as possible. At this level, it's just getting them to move on the court and keep playing, keep the shuttle going, not, talk, not about finishing it off as soon as they can and getting them fit enough to run. If they don't learn now how to train, they're never going to be at the level they need to be for a senior player. So in my sessions, I try and I train them, you know, I make it difficult so that they know what to expect when they're older. Those involved in badminton in South Africa are optimistic that Jabu will write her name in the record books in the years to come. With more competition experience and regular coaching, it's hoped that the 14-year-old and some of the other junior players here will one day contest the sport's biggest titles. We want the kids to play international, and we want them to, to beat the best. Um, from these kids are, are watching uh, YouTube, Lin Dan, Li Chong Wei, of the best players in the world, and they want to beat them. They want to be like them. And I believe if we can have the right kind of exposure to our, for our kids, we believe um, they can be good. I would like to be one of them actually, like to go all around the world yeah, and competing against good people, strong people, so then I can also achieve something one day. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.